so uh, hello students uh, today is lecture of nine and ten and the topic is token ring and the fiba distributed data interface uh, so it's proposed in 1969 and uh, initially referred to as a new whole ring a token ring it's a number of stations connected by transmission links in a ring topology and information flows in one direction along the ring from source to destination and back to source the medium access control is provided by a small frame as, uh, which is a token that circulates around the ring when all stations are idle only the station processing the token is allowed to transmit at any given time uh, and when a station wishes to transmit it must wait for a token to pass by and the seized token. Uh, one approach is to change one bit in a token, which transforms it uh, into a start of frame sequence and appends frame, frame for transmission. Second approach is station claims token by removing it from the ring. A frame circles the ring and is removed by the transmitting station. Uh, each station interrogates passing frame if destined for station. It copies the frame into local buffer. Uh, normally, there is one a bit delay as the frame passes through a station. Uh, here is given a picture of token ring and the FTDI. Uh, and the uh, reinserting token on the ring, there are some choices. First one is after station has completed transmission of the frame. And second, after leading edge of transmitted frame has returned to the sending station. And the, the essential issue is whether or more than one frame is allowed on the ring at the same time. And so here is also picture of token ring and FTTI. And uh, here is the next picture. Um, and then, um, so IEE uh, 800.5 token ring, it's a four and a 16 megabits using twisted pair cabling with differential Manchester line encoding. The maximum number of stations is 250 and waits for last byte of frame to arrive before reinserting token on ring and new token after received. Uh, there is also eight priority levels provided via two bit fields, priority and reservation in data and token frames. For me, 16 and 48 bit address same as uh, the standard. Mm, so token ring, its underlying load delay is added due to waiting for the token uh, and the heavy load ring is round robin. The ring must be long enough to hold the complete the token. Advantages, it's free access and disadvantage that its ring is single point of failure. Added issues due to token maintenance. Uh, so what can go wrong? Loss of token, the duplication of token, the need to designate one station as active ring monitor. Persistently circulating frame, deal with active monitor going down. So here is also given a token and the data frame structure. And so FIBA distributed data interface is FTDI and FTDI uses this ring topology of multi-mode or single mode optical transmission links operating at 100 to span up to 200 kilometers and permits up to 500 stations. Employees dual counter rotating rings. 16 and 48 bit addresses are allowed. And in FTDI, token is absorbed by station and released as soon as it completes the frame transmission. Uh, here is given a picture of token ring and FTDI. Uh, here is given a picture of FDDI repair. Uh, here is given a picture of FDDI ring operation. So FTDI is to accommodate the mixture of stream and the burst traffic. FTDI is designed to handle two types of traffic synchronous frames that typically have tighter delay requirements, voice and video. Asynchronous frames have greater delay tolerance, such as data traffic. FTDI uses uh, TTRT, target token rotation time, to issue the token rotation time is less than some value. Uh, and this is FETI data encoding. Cannot use differential matrix because of 100 megabytes. Uh, FTTI would require 200. Instead of uh, each ring interface has its own local clock. Outgoing data is transmitted using this clock. Incoming data is received using a clock that is frequency and the phase lock to the transitions in the incoming bit stream. Uh, the data is encoded using 4B by 5P encoder. Uh, and the symbols are then shifted out through an IZI encoder, which produces signal transition whenever one bit is in 
being transmitted and no transition when a zero bit is transmitted. Uh, so here is given picture of FTTI token ring. Uh, here is given a fig of line encoding and iterating detail. Uh, here is picture of frame structure and uh, there are also some details such as Transmission on optical fiber, uh, simple case, specific five bit code word patterns chosen to guarantee no more than three zeros in a row to provide for adequate synchronization dual rings, primary and secondary, and normally second ring is idle and used for redundancy of automatic repair. Here is differences of token ring and FTTI. No reliable is specified, while in FTTI it's dual ring, centralized clock. And etc. Mm, so that's all. Um, goodbye.